in my Muslim family, all the people they hate me and they jump on me and they and, and they throw me out. They said we are Muslim and and a Muslim don't uh, don't have any capacity uh, 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 to keep you here. Even even Muslim people, they are mostly they are doing everything bad. So we're here today in response to appeals from local LGBT Muslims who say that they've been victimized often by other Muslims. Um, so we're here to stand in solidarity with them. And they kicked you out? Nine people and they kicked me out and they insult me. They mentally tortured me. And where, where, where were you living? In White Shop. In White okay. yeah. Have you guys heard of this campaign? Because we know that there's a lot of Islamophobia and bring over LGBT I uh, grew up in, in Afghanistan, in Taliban controlled Afghanistan, Muslim guy, and he was like, he was like, you know what, when I was growing up, I used to think chop their heads off kind of thing, because that's what the Taliban did. And he said, you know what, as I've seen how the Taliban rule, and I've seen how people get hated on, uh, I've changed my mind. And he said, as a Muslim, I think people have the right and the freedom, and I love them for, for, for whoever, however they are. So, you know, you don't always meet people who ignore you. It would be nice to unite the Muslims and the gay people. Just people shouldn't be judged by their sex orientation, and the community should be living together as one, not judging people by what they are, what they live as, and what they believe in. But what you're saying here, the gays and Muslims unite. Yes. I, I don't. I mean. Uh, I feel that LGBT communities and Muslim communities are ideally placed to show solidarity with one another because of the, the long history of homophobia and anti-Muslim sentiment that they both face. It doesn't mean I'm, uh, I haven't got tolerance against them. I am tolerant against them. Your qualm with this is the fact that you if don't, I don't approve. If I don't approve this, doesn't mean they are my enemy. But don't you believe the, the fact that you're saying you don't approve of something is lessening people who are gay and Muslim? You're, you're not you're not saying that they deserve to okay, be gay. Okay, okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do you approve somebody walking bare without clothes? Would you? Listen, I approve. No, no. Tell anyone. me. Tell me. Would you approve oh, so, that? So you were trying. You, do, you were not. You were trying. No, listen. You, you, you were not. Walking naked you, down the no, no, street. You, you, you were not approve that. Walking naked down the street you, you, to being gay and Muslim. No, no. That's you, no, no. But do you think I'm, I'm, that I'm not, I'm, I'm not them people to judge them, innit? But do you think that um, I'm about the um, dressing in it? I can't judge them, innit? But I think, do you think that the gays and the Muslims should show solidarity against um, people that sort of oppose them? Because in the Muslim community, they sort of sometimes don't like the LG, the gays, and sometimes in the gays, they don't like the Muslim. Do you think that should be right? You don't know. No comment, man. No comment, man. I have to keep my religion, and my religion doesn't approve that, and I've stayed there. But as a Muslim, I will not hate anybody, no matter if he's a gay or lesbian or whatever. Why should I say that I like gay? That means my my son can be the same, is it? I don't want him to be. Because that's against my religion. I think gays and Muslims should so solidarity with each other, because we're all human beings at the end of the day. And we should speak to each other and love each other like brothers and sisters and live in harmony. Why I think gays and Muslims should um, unite is because they are both a marginalised group within society and um, they both face hate crimes. They both are not included in society doesn't seem to accept the two of them right now, especially in the media, the way you see a lot of things going on around the world. You see um, uh, hate crimes going on in Russia against gays. You see that the same thing happening in uh, Western European countries against Muslims. So I think there's some common ground and instead of working against each other, I think the two should unite and there should be solidarity between the two so they can strengthen uh, a positive change in the world. <laughs> Uh, uh, because we Muslims are people and solidarity, uh, we need to be one, so we need to accept each other. Because being a gay does not mean you're not human. We've had a mix of positive and negative responses today, but that's fine. You know, we're here to create a dialogue, to get feedback, to challenge homophobia, but also to build bridges and to make people aware that LGBT Muslims exist and they have a right to acceptance.